Um, I'll just let you know who I am. My name's Jack, and I'm a child of the Most High, God Almighty. Um, I'm just going to start off with uh, when I was a young child and where I grew up. And I grew up on a little council estate in Bury in Greater Manchester. And um, I had uh, an alright upbringing, to be fair. It was my mum and dad weren't rich or anything, but we weren't poor, so they provided. And it was, um, they did us well, really, me and my brothers and my sisters and that. And um, things were going alright. And then we moved from Cherry Avenue on this estate and we moved to another state a state in Berry called it's in an area called Fairfield and when I moved there it was round about the time that I went to high school and um, yeah things changed then so I went from uh, being a, a nice young lad uh, to being a bit of a, a bad lad getting in trouble all the time fighting just being arrogant at school and I um, thought it was the hardest and all that lot, so I was always fighting and getting in trouble and and giving uh, giving grief to the teachers at school and I was a uh, I'm only a small guy like but I used to be a bit of a bully and stuff so I used to beat up a lot of people for no reason like you know and I was so bad like I used to even fight with my mum and dad like and, uh, yeah things uh, got a bit out of hand. I started obviously smoking weed and stuff like that and taking uh, like ecstasy pills and stuff like that. And then I ended up uh, getting into a gang because when, and, uh, when um, I went to this high school called St Gabriel's, I ended up, uh, you'd have to get on the bus to Bury to the interchange. And in the interchange, I met all the, uh, I call the, all the, well, a lot of my old friends and that, and uh, we just—I used to wag school and and stay in the interchange, and we're just like just harassing people and robbing robbing the Fords and taking money off people and beating people up for no reason and, and things like that. So after uh, after a while, it was like you know, I I started. Um, getting on the sessions and stuff like just drinking all the time and taking cocaine and stuff like that and it was um it just led down to a, a wrong path and and i was always searching for jesus but i was never really calling out on him and but i didn't even know i was searching for jesus i was but i didn't know it so uh, one of the things that i uh, <laughs> I used to do was, um, well I have done, I, I robbed the church so one night we had no money for no for no weed and um, I just for some reason I just got this thought in my head and I know now that it was the devil but back then I didn't even know and then um, I just ran in the church and uh, I robbed some money out of the church and um, obviously went and bought some drugs and uh, yeah so it wasn't wasn't very good what I was doing and then um, I, part of the way through the journey I, um, I, through my life obviously I ended up uh, one night I was drinking and I drank more or less a full bottle of brandy to myself and I ended up um, in hospital and uh, nearly dying and, um, but obviously it was God that saved me and I didn't even know it was God that saved me so he was with me all that time and um, I should have uh, followed him at a younger age, but obviously we go through what we go through because it's just it's the trials of life. And um, I was always searching for a purpose, and I didn't even I didn't even I didn't know where I was going, but I was always screaming out, just like, "What am I doing here? Why am I even here? What's my purpose in life? Surely I'm not just there to to." Go around in, in, in with with the lads that I was with in the gangs and that, and just messing about and doing all the crime we were doing and uh, selling drugs and getting about with machetes and knives and stuff like that and hurting people, just attacking people and uh, it was just really bad and um, yeah, so I ended up uh, 
I was like drug dealing, yes, yeah, so I was selling drugs and I thought I was doing all right and that, but really I wasn't doing all right because I was, I was just sitting on a mountain of sin and um, depression come and I ended up with for, for suicide, I was suicidal and I had uh, anxiety and things like that and um, yeah it was, I just had to, um, I had to call out on the Lord Jesus Christ and, and ask for forgiveness for everything that I'd done because there's a lot more but I just find it hard to remember it all and explain it all and but I wish I could explain it more so that more people could, you know, come to Jesus and see my story and then save themselves going through the journey that I've been through because it's, you know, what you know, it's, you, you don't want to be going through, through the darkness and searching through life with no answers and doing all the evil that you do and then you end up with bad situation after bad situation and like uh, walking down the street and, and and every single street you go up, you just have to look behind your back about five times just in case someone comes to establish your back or shoots your head off or something, you know what I mean? So, it's um, if there's anyone out there in the gang life, get out of the gang life now and call on Jesus right, before he returns for his second coming because he's, this time he's, he's not coming to sacrifice himself, he's coming to uh, bring the sword. And if, he's gonna, if, you're, if you're bad and you don't bear fruit for him, then... If you're a bad piece of fruit, he's gonna cut you down and cast you into into the pit. And and he was really speaking to me for a long time, but I didn't even know that he was speaking to me because I was ignoring him. And um, when um, I was younger, when I was about 15 year old, my dad showed me um, a song, and uh, in that song it said it was about uh, money is the root of all evil, and then in that song it was explaining about all this this symbolism like this freemasonic symbolism and um i just went on a journey for like after getting kicked out of school and everything because i was so naughty at school i ended up um i was um sat on my computer for about two years just literally for about two years every day solid i didn't go out or anything i just stayed in my house i became like a bit of a recluse you know what i mean a bit of a like, um, I don't know, just searching for answers. And yeah, for two years straight, I just watched everything on conspiracy theories and I just went down the path of looking into uh, the government and what they do to us and, and just all sorts of mad things about the Illuminati and, and uh, just all sorts for two years. So um, after that, it was like, that was what, so I fast forward it back to when, after after sitting in about um, looking at all these conspiracies, that was when I, I went back out again and got back into the gangs again. Started chilling with all, all my old friends and that, and um, that was when uh, things started getting really bad, and yeah, I was just, just out terrorising the streets really, and being, being very violent to people. I had severe depression, like very, like severe, like where I just, I just didn't want to live at all. I didn't even, I didn't even wash or anything for, for, for a long time. I just didn't, I didn't wash. I didn't brush my teeth. I didn't even care about myself. I just wanted to die, like, so I just wanted to end it. And then, um, I, I was, I was absolutely consumed with anger, full on rage, where I just absolutely smash smashed my house to bits, my mum and dad's house and that and I yeah, just absolutely just destroyed the house for nothing and I'd scream at them and I'd, I'd hit them if I didn't get money for drugs and stuff like that and if I couldn't get money to pay my debts things like that and yeah just and that was then when I decided that I was going to do the drug dealing and, and uh, the devil he, he, he tripped me into thinking that I was living good like he I had loads of money and, and I had cars and jewellery and I had all sorts and I had like a bit of a, a reputation and, and things like that in, in where I'm from and, and uh, people thought, you know, thought, I mean if you go to where I'm from um, and ask who little Jack is then they'll all tell you like, yeah, he's, 
it's nothing to be proud of. But they'll say, yeah, he's, he's a lunatic, he's off his head, he's crazy, and I won't start with him and all this stuff, you know what I mean? And, and obviously, I, I had to change all that, and I just come to Jesus, really. I just I just kept crying out after after so long. But before I come to Jesus, um, because I've been uh, watching all these conspiracy theories and stuff like that, I ended up... Um, as like an activist, so I was out there and I was um, going to all these anti-lockdown protests and like we was like fighting with the police and we was uh, thinking that we was <laughs> going to take over the world like and we was going to take our country back and like we was building up a little army like a little, uh, well gathering up the soldiers out of all the, um, at the like the the hardest, most, but we thought it was like the hardest people, the strongest people, the bravest people. Um, it was like gathering them up all together, putting them in, like we were getting up a, a little group together and we was gonna like try and take over the government. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty, it was just a, a delusion from the devil thinking that we can fight for this world and we can take this world back because at the end of the day, the, 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 it's gonna perish. This world's gonna, uh, it's gonna perish, and there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. But at that time, we thought, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take the world back. <laughs> but, you know, it was just a crazy way of thinking. And then I went on like that for quite a while. And then, um, I, I, I was getting around. Like I said, I was getting around with these machetes and knives every day, and I was always looking to hurt people for no reason. And then I was doing all the drug dealing, but. I just kept crying out like to, to, to God saying, what, what am I here for? Why am I even here? What's my purpose like? What am, I'm not supposed to be in this world. I'm not even, I'm not even supposed to be alive. Like what, what's going on? And, and uh, I remember three weeks before God saved me or two weeks before God saved me. And I was arguing, having an argument with my mum. God bless her so uh, for putting up with me for so long. I, anyway, yeah, I ended up, uh, I, I, I went mad in my house and I was screaming, crying my eyes out, saying, I'm, I'm not supposed to be here, like, God, what am I doing here? What, what's my purpose, you know? Um, and then I just, like, absolutely smashed my house to bits and I was that full of rage and angry that I put my head through through the door and I put my head through the door, like, so much, like, the door was in bits. I just kept smashing my head through it through pure rage, like, and pure anger. And then I asked... Um, I asked Jesus to take her, uh, I prayed to him and I said, just take this anger away from me. I said, I, I can't be doing with this anger and rage anymore because I've been like that since I was 15 and I'm now 31 and I got saved by Jesus, praise God, uh, about 10 months ago. So for 15 years, more or less, I was just consumed with rage and depression, anxiety and suicide, suicidal thoughts and the spirit of death was, was in me as well. One night before I went to bed, I cried out to Jesus and I said, whatever happens to me tonight, I said, I know something's going to happen. I said, I don't know what it is. I said, but I need you to protect me. I said, I need you, Jesus. I said, just take care of me, please. I said, I really need you. And then at the, the moment I lay down in bed in my bedroom, I shut my eyes and I went straight into the spirit. In my dream, I went into the spirit world. And... um. And, and this demon in the corner of the room come out of the corner of the room and it tried to take me and I just prayed in my dream I said Lord Jesus Christ I remember the words I said Lord Jesus Christ I said I pray in your mighty name I said I ask you now to come and rebuke this evil spirit I said cast it away from me and um, and then Jesus come in, in the, at the other side of the room and just a massive bright light I seen like the the, his robes at the bottom and then just a massive bright light and then he and then the whole, the light just covered the whole room and uh, and the darkness went and then when I woke up I woke up in my mum's room lying on the bed so I don't know how I even got in got in my mum's room but, I, I, but my mum had uh, left the house by that time so yeah I was in the house on my own but yeah I woke up uh, in my mum's room um, but I just had, I was crying, but with tears of joy, so 
Jesus had put his Holy Spirit in me and he cast the spirit of death out of me that night. So what I mean by the spirit of death, when I, it was always like every day, more than 20 times a day, I don't know how many, just all day, every day, uh, the spirit of death was putting scenarios in my head where I was going to die, like I could be walking down the road, I think a car was going to hit me. I think, <laughs> it's crazy it is, I think a plane was going to come down the sky and hit me. I'd, 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 I think a, a wall was going to collapse on me. If I was in a building, I think the building was going to collapse on me. You know, if I was on a buzz, I'd think the buzz was going to smash and, and I was going to die. And it wasn't only that, it was... it was Like, the spirit of death kept making me think that... Uh, all my friends and family were going to die. And it was running, like, it was running scenarios through my head every single day. Like, constantly just death, 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 all the time, constantly. But praise the Lord, that night he cast the spirit of death out of me. And um, he, he took me on a, on a journey after that. So I come to a life of repentance and I started, like, I really hated sinning. Like, I just could not stand it. And I was smoking weed. So I stopped taking the cork, the cocaine, I stopped taking that and then I ended up um, just carrying on smoking weed for months, for months and then, and then, um, but what I was doing every day was I stopped listening to like secular rap music like all the grime and the drill music and stuff like that and I started um, putting on Bible sermons like Lion of Judah prayer channel and Grace for purpose, and every time I, I I went out to do a drug deal, I'd have I'd have God's word playing in my house. So every time I come in, the Holy Spirit would convict me every single time of something, and um, I just knew that I had to I had to stop doing what I was doing, and then um, yeah, so every day I was playing God's word. I kept coming in, and I was listening to the word, getting convicted by the Holy Spirit, and then God was showing me like a a new a, a new revelation about my own life and how I was living, what I was doing and where I was going to go. So really he was just showing me that if I carried on in my sin and, and, and I didn't come to a life of repentance and really give my life to Jesus, that I was going to be uh, going to hell. And um, I, I really just kept thinking so much about heaven every day. I can... And, all I could think about was getting to heaven and, and, and uh, not going to hell. And then one day, I, I come out of my house and uh, I, 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 cut, it was, I stepped into the road and, and uh, I got halfway across the road and, and Jesus just lifted the suicide off me like he cast the, the, the spirit of suicide out of me and I didn't know it that day. But I, the words come into my head. I want to live, uh -huh. and and I, and from that moment on, I just wanted to live. Like uh, I didn't want to die anymore. I just felt freedom. Like I've never felt anything like it because I've been that that way for so long. Like for half my life, it was like it was just a massive relief thanks to Jesus. And um, uh, slowly but surely, He's delivered me more and more. So He's. He, so um, the anxiety went, my stresses, all, a lot of worries and everything went, and then he, and then I, I, uh, I started crying out to uh, to know my brothers and sisters in Christ because I had no one around me, and I was still going seeing all my old friends, and I was trying to tell them about Jesus, and I was trying to tell them to come to God before it's too late, and it was uh, I was getting mocked and persecuted all the time, so. I was crying out to God a lot, just saying, I, I, need, I need you, I need you to leave me to my brothers and sisters. And I said, I can't um, live like this anymore. I said, I need to know who, who my spiritual family are. And, um, and then he led me to, to my brothers and sisters. And I ended up, um, because Jesus had baptised me in, in, in the Holy Spirit that night, uh, it was just, I was like, I don't know, I think it must have been the devil just hammering me going, Mocking me, you know, saying you're gonna die, you're gonna you you go into hell and all this. You need to get baptized. This you need to get baptized. That so, I was reaching out to priests. I went to a church uh, to see if I could get baptized. 
they wouldn't baptise me. Um, they said because I'd been baptised as a child and had a little sprinkling of water on my head, and and I'd been uh, I'd been baptised in the name name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as a child that. I'm, I'm good to go to heaven, but the Holy Spirit was telling me, no, that's not right, you know what I mean? And I really, it was really on my heart so much that I needed to be baptised in water as well. So, like, I was contact, I was ringing up, pe contacting people online, mini contacting ministries, I was contacting all these churches, and no one had baptised me. And then, um, so I ended up getting in contact with Kevin, and then... Um, he he arranged it and and we went down and, and got baptized. He baptized me in in the in the river near mine. Yeah and <laughs> yeah and God God you give a you give a a, a a major sign like a it was a prophetic sign from God and um, as I got baptized and and I went I went down into the water and come up this um, kingfisher flew over. And it was like a sign to say you're gonna be a you're gonna be a fisher of man men. Yeah, you're gonna be a fisher of men and Yeah, King Fisher. So like um that after that, after I got baptized, praise the Lord, um I ended up well that day we went we went out and uh, we did some evangelizing and it really I I just felt like I was really like God was really revealing my purpose to me, like He was showing me, like who I am gonna be, and um, it was like you saw so relieving a massive change from the from the gangs and 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 the thieving and and all the drug taking and and all the major depression and suicide and and, and all that that I went through, and it was a massive change. And then we ended up one of the brothers in Christ. He had a, a vision. And um, in that vision, we was all uh, in Bradford, and um, we was uh, bringing. Well, God was using us to bring major revival and deliverance to the people, and um, that day, I woke up uh, in the morning at Santa and Kevin's house, and four dubs flew over the house, and it it meant divine appointment. And that day, when we went out, I went out into the streets with, with all the brothers and sisters, and God used me, and he revealed my purpose that day. He revealed my purpose that I'm going to be a soldier for Jesus Christ. And um, I was just so grateful, so thankful that um, he changed my life like that. And all you have to do, really, if you're going through the same thing, you just have to call out on, on Christ. You just have to call out on Jesus and just and just ask him for a relationship. Ask him for forgiveness of your sins. And just follow him with all your heart, mind, body, soul and strength. And just get into the word of God. Um, let it renew your mind. Get yeah, be baptised in Jesus Christ's name. The name above all names. Not in the f name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit because they're titles not names. The name of Jesus Christ holds the power and the authority. So you have to be baptised in Jesus Christ's name for the remission of your sins. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and you will become a new creation, sealed by God. And, and, and on the day that you pass away, you'll be good to go to heaven. So, yeah, for anybody out there that's going through any bad times, any darkness, just and you feel like there's no hope and you've no purpose in life and you're really, really struggling with who you are and just call out on Jesus because he's the only one that can make the change. He will literally change your life for God. He'll make you a new creation. And uh, I say a prayer now for anyone out there that sees this video. And um, I just pray now in Jesus Christ, mighty name. And I just ask you now, I just ask Jesus Christ now that anyone watching this video, that you really touch their hearts, you reveal yourself to them, Lord Jesus Christ. You reveal the truth of who you are. And I ask that you just bless their lives, Lord Jesus Christ. You help them come to a, to a life of repentance. And 
I just ask now, Holy Spirit, that you convict them of all the sins and you help them cry out to the mighty Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, you really make a change in their lives so that they can fight for your kingdom, Jesus, and they can glorify the mighty Father in heaven. Yeah, amen. Amen.